Good morning guys, so today we are in Playa del Carmen, but I'm about to head out to one of the so-claimed best beaches here in Playa del Carmen. It's called Zufa, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, it's about a 20 to 30 minute drive from here. You can either grab a taxi, rent a car, or a scooter. Uh, today my friends are picking me up in a car and we're heading down there. What's Hello. up? Hello! Ready for the beach? Yes. yes. Right, lady. Okay. So we've just arrived at the entrance. Uh, the cost of that was 50 pesos per person. Um, if you go through the actual beach entrance, it's gonna be the same price pretty much. But you get these bracelets. Um, so just so you know that they do give you crap for having a camera, a vlog camera, whatever. Uh, so if you wanna be doing... No modeling <laughs> yeah. sessions. Yeah, so no modeling sessions. Um, just so you know they will try to charge you an extra price for the camera so maybe keep the camera hidden as you're paying the fee to get in and then just pull it out later on the beach this is a long walk yeah because it goes all the way down oh no, so he was like parked here because there's like not parking anymore well i guess yeah. it's gonna be busy well as you can see there's lots and lots of cars it probably means there's gonna be lots of people on the beach here today yeah. we're not the only ones with this idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> But there's not a cloud in the sky, which means it's gonna be a great beach day. This is super nice. So, according to my Airbnb host, um, 50 pesos is supposed to be one of the nicest ones. Uh, on Playa and apparently it's supposed to be one of the most serene empty beaches but it's a Sunday here it's like 2 p.m. and it's pretty busy What I want to know is why we paid 50 pesos for this. Nobody on the beach had these bracelets on except for us basically. So eventually we'll find out what these bracelets are for. Yeah, we got the whole squad here just filming. Filming tons of content. All right, so we've been here for about roughly an hour or two. Um, first impressions, this place is absolutely beautiful. This is actually probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite beach so far in Playa. Um, the other beach has its perks. It's uh, got more restaurants, more beach clubs, more to offer, I think. But this beach, I think, is Probably the most beautiful, pristine, photogenic. Like we've just been literally taking photos for the past two hours. It's absolutely beautiful. The water is crystal clear. There's really no seaweed at all. Um, we had to pay 50 pesos to get in here. Um, and honestly, 
I don't know why we got bracelets. Nobody else got bracelets. Uh, it didn't give us food or drinks. Um, so I think it was just more of an entrance fee to get into this beach. But it's absolutely worth it to come here, guys. It's about a 20 to 30 minute drive. So if you can make it out here, absolutely do it. And probably even the best part is that this whole coastline just stretches for a few miles. So even though where we entered onto the beach, it was fairly crowded. Um, you can literally walk a like couple hundred feet down the beach and it's, I mean, completely empty. There's really no other people out here on this other side of the beach. So you, what I recommend you do is just go ahead, go to the supermarket, grab some beers, grab a cooler, grab food or snacks and just bring it all down here because they don't actually check you for alcohol, drinks, food. Um, so you really don't need to buy it at the restaurants and the cafes down here. You could just bring it out on the beach, bring a towel out here and some good music and enjoy your day. Now one thing you guys should know is that uh, the beach clubs here actually close at about 6 o'clock. Um, on this beach specifically, they close at 6.30. But I don't know specifically if uh, they close the actual beach itself. I think you can probably stay on the beach, but the beach clubs do close here around 6, 6.30. Little homes are so cool. Wonder if you can live here, rent them out. <laughs> just like, yeah, rent it out just for the day. <laughs> Two dollars. So, guys, would you come here again? Um, yes. Yeah. 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 I like yeah. it. Yeah. But like I would probably find where people park and just like not pay. And yeah. Not pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? If there's a secret entrance, yeah. There definitely is. Like by, like well, you have to know where to go, I guess. If you guys know where the secret entrance is, comment below. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot. This looks absolutely delicious and the tacos cost 90 pesos for three tacos, so 30 each. The fish taco? Yeah. Oh wow. I know, but like, I know what Spicy. Yeah, put it here. Wow. Wow, guys. That has to be now my new favorite taco place ever. It's called the Tiny Tika Hut. Highly recommend it. So that's going to be it for you guys. If you guys like the video, give it a like. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.